Migrant integration policies do not just affect immigrants' well-being in destination countries, but also help shape public attitudes towards migration. In this next integration series episode, we will look at an example of a country that recently fell backward in the MIPEX rankings, Argentina. This series uses data from the Migrant Integration Policy Index, or MIPEX for short. As explained in a separate explainer video on MIPEX on this channel, the project ranks countries on a scale of 1 to 100 based on the favorability of their migrant integration policies. Here, having a favorable score means having policies that promote migrant integration by facilitating opportunities for participation in the host society as well as having policies that champion equal treatment of migrants and the local population. MIPEX researchers place Argentina in the Equality on Paper category. The country's overall score is 58 out of 100 which indicates that integration opportunities are available for migrants, but there are still significant deficiencies in some policy areas. Indeed, Argentina's policies generally protect migrants from discrimination and provide pathways to long-term residency, but there is not always a guarantee of equal opportunities for both migrants and locals. MIPEX measures eight policy dimensions or areas related to integration. In this video, we will look at the two highest and two lowest scored areas for simplicity. For a full breakdown of Argentina's scores in all dimensions, be sure to check out the website. Here, access to nationality and anti-discrimination are very favorable from a policy standpoint. Argentina ranks in the top three MIPEX countries when it comes to naturalization or gaining citizenship. For one, the country recognizes dual nationality and citizenship at birth, which allows children with migration backgrounds in their families to easily claim citizenship. Additionally, the naturalization requirements for foreign-born residents are comparatively easy, having just a two-year residency requirement before being eligible to apply. Argentina also has very strong anti-discrimination policies and an independent equality body that ensures strong mechanisms are in place for victims to report cases. This ultimately leads to victims being able to successfully seek justice. The country comes up short, however, when it comes to education and political participation. To be clear, immigrants do have guaranteed access to compulsory primary and secondary education programming. The issue, however, is the lack of targeted support for the unique needs of immigrant students. Little additional language support is a key example of this. There is also a lack of support for students wishing to pursue higher education. Political participation also has room for improvement. While some immigrants are eligible to vote in local elections, they are not always informed about this. Furthermore, there has been a recent decrease in funding for immigrant organizations that policymakers could consult when trying to meet migrant needs. Argentina's policy changes over the past years have also resulted in decreased scores for access to nationality and labor market mobility. For example, Argentina introduced a criminal record requirement to the naturalization process. This decreases equal access to citizenship because someone's previous convictions could disqualify them. You can see in this graph how the scores of each policy area in Argentina have fallen since 2014. The MIPEX researchers have thus concluded that migrants face more opportunities than obstacles when it comes to integration in Argentina. The main issue here is making sure that equal opportunities are realized in practice. In the context of Latin America, we see that Argentina is a bit less restrictive than other countries like Chile, but not quite as comprehensive as countries like Brazil. I hope this quick glance at favorability of Argentinian integration policies has helped you understand the country's current situation. If you found this video useful, please feel free to take a look at the 56 countries that MIPEX scores and leave us a comment with which ones you'd like to hear more about. I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications so you don't miss new videos that we upload every week. I hope to see you next time.